please explain me what is aura what is aura a u r a r aura substance on the planet has a certain field of energy around it or what you see as substance on the planet is actually energy it's a scientific fact that the whole existence is energy one part of the energy has manifested itself into a certain level of reverberation which makes it a physical form another part of the energy does not manifest itself into a physical form but it still has a form so that form which is not yet physical or refuses to become physical but still maintains a form that's an aura called an aura aura set of many kinds one can carry from a pitch black aura to a pure white aura between these two there are a million shades essentially the physical mental emotional and the energy status of who you are right now in a certain way is represented by your aura or it's visible through the aura too many fancy things have been told about it by the particularly by the new age community today a lot of it is fiction there is some substance to it <clears throat> i don't think you should concern yourself about such things don't try to see people's aura aura is the periphery of the person i would like you to look a little more at the core of the being rather than looking at the surface set faces for the doctors because uh, they want to fix some physical part that may be going wrong with somebody surface should not be the interest of a spiritual seeker this is more surface than the skin what you call as aura is even more superficial than the skin because it's even further out so it may have certain if one has the necessary insight may have certain give you certain access to the nature of the person but you are only looking at the psychological emotional and physical structure of the human being it is best people on the spiritual path ignore the aura yours and everybody's and focus on the core if you focused on the core you will have a wonderful aura if you focus on the surface you will have a miserable aura so don't keep looking at other people's aura on your own time you looked at the core of this one and that one if you look at the core of this one then naturally you'll see the core of everything because in core this and that doesn't exist in core only this exists on the surface this and that exists so you know people said beauty is skin deep yes
a certain type of beauty is skin deep. You wouldn't like somebody with their skin peeled off. If you saw somebody's skin peeled off, you wouldn't think they are beautiful even if they're the same people. That way, yes. But aura is not even skin deep, so it's not worth spending time on it. If you become conscious of the core, the surface may be just visible to you, but you trying to see and read people's auras is a stupid thing to do. You'll waste your life trying to do such things. If you're conscious, if your perception is enhanced, you may see things. It's good to see things which are there. If you start seeing things which are not there, that's uh, you have to… you are graduating from ashram to asylum. If lot of you go in that direction, we can transform the ashram into an asylum. It's very important. <laughs> we want to keep this as an ashram. You want to make it into an asylum? No. no. We want to keep this as an ashram. So please, if you want to keep this as an ashram, you must be focused on the core, not on the surface. Too much surface means uh, we'll make the place into an asylum. All kinds of nutcases who believe they are spiritual, there are too many like that on the planet. They are the biggest deterrent for other people to seek any spirituality. Because of too many nutcases like this, right-thinking people who are little more sensible don't want to have anything to do with spirituality. So, please don't make this into an asylum. If you need to go, we will promote you. <laughs> Don't turn the place into an asylum. <laughs>